Welcome to Trending Niches, episode number I lost count. And this week, as usual, I'm going to share some trends on Amazon Merge, some of which you need to avoid, as well as Redbubble trends at the end of the video, which sometimes have some cool low competition evergreen niches hidden in there as well. First off, here is a new trend that you need to avoid. It's all's fair in love and poetry. At first glance, I didn't have a clue what this is about, but a quick Google search shows you that it's linked to a Taylor Swift song, or it's literally the name um, of a Taylor Swift song, which is very common. So always double check these sort of longer phrases that you find that are trending because Taylor is often the reason why. Another new trend to avoid is Jesus was a carpenter. We've got a few designs right here, very, very young, and they all look almost exactly the same, which is typically a red flag. Well, if we Google this phrase, it comes up with a song by Johnny Cash. So that instantly means stay away from it. And next up, we've got Dipped Out. Um, this one is very fresh, two days ago, um, just basic text-based designs. When you Google it though, um, there is a celebrity or an actor or someone from a TV show, I think, uh, that keeps reappearing, which um, kind of turns me off this niche. Usually if you see that, it's maybe a quote or, or something that person's known for, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on this one, like maybe it is okay, but I still wanted to warn you um, in case these designs do cause any problems further down the line. And trend number four to avoid is Vault Tech. Um, this appears to be a logo from a video game, which might seem like it's okay if it's like a logo that doesn't actually exist and it's not linked to a real company. But because it is part of that game, and that game is someone's intellectual property, I would definitely not sell this, and it would probably get removed very quickly. Published, you know, just a few days ago, but there is one right here that's older, and which might make you think this is safe, but we do know that um, Amazon can pull these at any point, and especially if the, if the game reports some of these listings or the owners of that game, um, because, yeah, you know, technically people are profiting off of their brand or their intellectual property. Trend number one that you could actually target is Drizzle Drizzle. Uh, these shirts are all about a week um, old or younger. Uh, this design even right here is from two days ago and it's already got a BSR. Now this has the in my era phrase on there, which I personally wouldn't sell. I just made a video about that recently, sort of giving my take and my findings about this niche or that phrase. Um, but yeah, besides that, you can see a lot of Drizzle Drizzle designs in, in different sort of styles, color schemes are working well and they're all recently posted so definitely a new and emerging trend um, that is worth considering uh, check this for trademarks i checked it on google and it, it just seems to be linked to a social media trend at the moment um, i don't think there's anything wrong with selling this niche number two is lupus awareness or lupus day you could say as well because the 10th of may is lupus day so leading up to that um, you're going to get a lot more people buying these uh, lupus day related or lupus awareness related outfits i quite like this one with the boxing glove I've not seen that very often um, in these niches that are all about you know fighting a disease which is surprising you typically just see a lot of these ribbons you see butterflies um, sometimes you see here we go we've got messy hair bun but yeah there's another boxing glove i think that sort of split graphic uh, design text on one side is definitely really cool and um, clearly here the uh, the color scheme of choice would be purple um, but yeah i mean if you can find a way to stand out and be a bit more unique like some of these boxing glove designs um, or the these sneakers actually that looks quite cool um, then yeah you would have a, an easier chance of selling right here than just going with the you know the current schemes of support squad and, and adding a, a ribbon in there um, so yeah, I hope lupus awareness helps you get some sales. You've still got um, a couple of weeks to enter this niche before it sort of drops off in sales. It is definitely an established one, um, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Just stand out here if you find the right sub niches and some unique ideas for designs. I snack harder than your team plays is another phrase that I found to be trending at the moment. Now uh, we've got a design right here five days ago. It's already sold 15 days, three days ago, already getting sales. Um, typically, we've got these sort of groovy font style right here. This is related to baseball, I think, in most cases, but you could also apply it to other sports as well. And yeah, check this out. Interesting phrase. I'm not sure why it's trending, but I can't see anything wrong with it. There's no trademarks in there. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to apply to a bunch of different sports. So there's definitely potential to branch out and scale out this phrase. 
Niche number four is Passover. This is definitely trending at the moment. You can see by the BSRs, 10,000, 16,000, 18,000, 21,000, 21,000 again. And Passover is a major Jewish holiday. It's happening from the 22nd to the 30th of April, which means you have about a week um, of people potentially buying outfits related to this. And whilst it is definitely an established niche, that definitely doesn't mean it's impossible to sell right here. Um, I did find quite um, a few interesting designs that were recently posted and are starting to sell. As you can see right here in the seller trends tab. So again, we've got the typical in my Passover era, the era phrase, again, I wouldn't sell. Um, Matzah Girl is definitely a sub niche that seems to be doing well with newly posted listings. Um, I did check this on Amazon and I found multiple designs that are all relatively new that are selling and that's a Matzah Girl. Um, I dig Passover. I thought this one was quite cool as well, kind of more of a kids themed one. And then you can kind of see right here what's also more recently posted and starting to sell. I have more than four questions. Notice this one popping up quite a lot as well under the recent seller. So yeah, check out Passover. Um, there's definitely a lot of demand right here for this niche. So um, you might be able to pick up some sales over the next week. Trending niche number five on Amazon is my boy might not always swing, but I do, so watch your mouth. Now at first glance, all you can see right here is a lot of designs that are very, very similar, which is usually a red flag, but I did check this for trademarks. I looked through Google. I couldn't find anything related to this um, or an origin of the design that might be linked to like a TV show or celebrity, stuff like that. It does appear that this is just another social media trend. Apparently it's, it's going around TikTok or something like that. And the good thing is there are also different types of design selling. It's not just this one style. Um, so you don't have to copy that design, which I wouldn't recommend anyway. You can definitely come up with uh, another, another style for this design that can also work. For example, uh, here we've got my girl might not always swing instead of my boy, right? That's quite a good idea. It's a simple idea, but it seems to have worked for this person. Posted four days ago and it's already sold 400k BSR. Uh, here we've got a very simple layout so an oval one with the same phrase and as you can see there's, there's a bunch of other design styles popping up right here and yeah i mean this is an interesting niche because it's brand new there seems to be potential to enter this with new and unique designs i mean even this one right here published one day ago we've got this sort of split design as well uh, or again we've got half a ball and then text on the right side published one day ago and it's already sold so definitely a hot niche at the moment um, and because it's so new, there will definitely be potential right here to come up with something unique that stands out amongst all of these copycats. The first trend on Redbubble is Jaliano. This appears to be an island uh, in British Columbia, Canada, and the competition is super low. You can see the trending arrow right here indicated. And most of these listings are just pictures or photos from that island. Uh, we've got a collection of islands right here as well, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I think this is fairly self-explanatory. Not much else to say about it. Um, it might be a, a popular holiday destination. Maybe that's why it's trending. But the fact that it has so low competition definitely makes it pretty interesting. Next up, we've got Biogeometry. Again, right here trending with only 38 results. And the results for this are quite confusing. <laughs> if you don't know what Biogeometry is, at least. And that can kind of be something you can use to your advantage. Because a lot of people will look at this and be like, what the hell is this? How, how am I supposed to design this um, or make a design that you know resonates with the target audience if I don't have a clue what this stuff means? Well, if you do the extra research and you do figure out what this stuff is and, and how to potentially create a design for this that stands out, then you will have less competition because most people uh, can't be bothered. What I could see maybe working, again, I don't understand this niche, but maybe you could do a collection of these different uh, signs right here or these different things, whatever they mean, and then maybe even have a quick explanation or the word for each one of these symbols on that shirt that's just a random idea would it work i don't know i didn't do additional research um, but it's just something that popped to my head so yeah check out biogeometry potentially an evergreen niche um, that's currently trending on redbubble moving on from that here we have mmiw indigenous with 833 results which is a bit more competitive but i could see this type of niche having some more demand behind it as well just have the trending indicator right there as you can see and mmiw stands for missing and murdered indigenous women um, so that is what this niche is about it's about protecting indigenous lives um, mainly or justice for the murder of 
uh, indigenous women and here the common design theme seems to be uh, these red hand prints that are basically present in every single design no matter the layout and we've got some badges there are some circular layouts there's a, a rainbow design right here and of course you're going to get um, quite a lot of these designs featuring indigenous women so yeah there we go that is a, a trending search term right now in Bull with mmiw indigenous the next trend i found is gold teacher pretty random but it does have the trending indicator with only 81 results and it, it gets a bit confusing when you look at the search results because there's not that many things um, that are actually GOAT plus teacher. I mean, we've got this right here, the GOAT greatest teacher of all time. But then a lot of these stickers say GOAT yoga, which um, seems to be like a sub niche of yoga, potentially a good evergreen niche right there. I would definitely look into it if I were you. If we scroll down further though, um, the mystery does get solved eventually because here we've got quite a cool design or, well, the colors are not that cool in my opinion, but the layout explains the niche itself it's goat greatest of all teacher so instead of the typical greatest of all time you're saying greatest of all teachers and that is the idea with this search phrase and that's potentially why it's trending but there's not many designs that are indexed right here that actually you know serve to people who want this this sort of style or, or that sort of um, design layout there was a second one i think somewhere um, but i can't find it at the moment anyway i hope you understand this trend and i thought it was a fun one to show because it's a bit random and because there is also that goat yoga phrase at the top um, which potentially could serve as a good low competition evergreen niche and lastly here we've got knitting heartbeat only 52 results so another low competition trend on Redbubble. This one kind of explains itself, right? You'll have heartbeat graphics mixed with knitting graphics. I do really like these design styles and it's interesting to see one trending on Redbubble. Yeah, can I say anything else about this? I don't think so. This is a cool way to cross niche this with Halloween. Um, there's no heartbeat in this, but we've got three sort of knitting poles. Yeah, for Halloween themed design, which is interesting, interesting. We've also got some sewing machines. So it's kind of sewing and knitting mitch together like cro crochet is another good keyword for this sort of niche uh, hot moms love knitting so yeah as you can see not every single design is with a heartbeat um, but seems to be a trending topic right now um, definitely play around with this and consider it for other niches as well if you want to see me use one of the best all-in-one ai t-shirt design tools out there then make sure to click right here